Hey there fellow YouTubers and YouTubettes. Here was a short video on a problem I've encountered today. My washing machine decided to stop draining and after spending a few quick minutes at YouTube School of Engineering I followed some of the suggestions and found that it was my lid switch that went bad. And we can see the remnants of that here. Of what's left so I've got my few tools over there that I need to do this job I'm not going to be replacing the switch today because that needs to be ordered I'm just going to be doing what I have to do to uh, get this thing running again and so I'm gonna pause this video and we'll get back to that in just a second and so here we are back and as you can see here are the two screws that held the lid switch in place and the hole where the, uh, uh, I guess you would call switch actuator goes into. And so the wires and everything are still tucked up in there. And it's really simple because these tubs move. You just push that over, reach in there, making sure that all of this is unplugged, of course. And here we go. And there we have our two wires and what's left of the switch. And so, there's a ground wire in there we can't get to, so it's kind of tight. This is all the slack we're going to get. But simply all we're going to do is take these two wires, connect them with the wire nut, and we should be back in business. Now, there are two things to this. One is that the washer will always run, run whether the lid is closed or not. And two, this isn't a permanent solution because, of course, now you have loose wires dangling in there. But I need to get this washer drained and things done. So rather than going through the complication of garden hoses and all that and waiting for switches to arrive we're just going to do this real quick and simple so pause the video again and I'll be back and so here we are with the final product we've cut away our connections from the switch because there was really no other way to do it removed what little bit of rubber compound there was around the wire Stripped our wires, added our wire nut. We have a good, nice, tight, solid connection right there. Now we're gonna go ahead, and we know we've got a ground wire in here. So we'll just reach back in there, tuck it behind that ground wire for now, just like so. And there we go. Now we get to plug it back in. plugged back in. Now for the moment of truth to see if it really was that switch. Uh oh. Ah, there we go. Nice. That's pretty cool watching that with the lid open. Being able to do that. See how it works. But, uh, there we go. A quick fix for a simple problem. Until next time, happy YouTube.